Today I'm gonna be testing out a product that I've seen all around the internet in the past couple of months and I'm specifically talking about the jelly gouache. So the brand Artex, or at least this is how I think uh, their name should be pronounced, I don't know, let me know in the comments. Uh, they reached out to me a couple of weeks ago asking whether I would be interested in checking out their products and I knew that they are the company that stands behind the jelly gouache. So once I realized that, I asked them if they would be willing to send me one of their jelly gouaches to test them out, to show it to you guys on my YouTube channel. And they said yes. So yeah, here we are today. We're about to test those very famous, especially around the art community, obviously here on YouTube, um, jelly gouaches. They honestly look super insane. I wanted to test them out for so long, but since I'm not really into painting, I was a little bit hesitant, but since now we're having an opportunity to actually put them to the test, why not? So I'm just gonna stay quiet for now and um, show the jelly gouache to you guys and let you be the judge. And um, yeah, let's see how it's gonna perform. <laughs> so let's start off with a little unboxing, if you will. This is the box, the container, that the paints come in. As far as I'm aware, they have four different sets available with different color schemes of the paints and uh, different colors of the container itself. But since I love baby pink myself, I went for the obvious choice. Once we open the box, we're getting this sort of palette to mix our paints on, which is honestly super cool and handy. It's a plus because if you're someone that likes to paint outside, you don't need to carry an extra palette, you have it within the set, so that's a huge advantage. Then we're also getting a card with color swatches, a postcard and a thank you note. So that's cute. But now finally, let's get into the real deal. First off, can we just talk about how aesthetically pleasing everything looks from the box itself to how clean and sturdy the packaging is, the baby pink color and those little paint containers or whatever you call them. They are just so neatly placed in their places that it just all makes sense, you know? <laughs> and honestly, I'm a person that pays a lot of attention to the details, to the packaging itself. So for me, sometimes I'm even buying things just because of the packaging, because it just makes me happy to look at nice things, <laughs> if that makes sense. So now let me just take a quick moment to unwrap and open all of those little cubes with gouache and I'll leave you with a very satisfying footage of me doing exactly that. Enjoy! <laughs> Okay, one thing, even though I really love unwrapping new products and unboxing them in general, opening those gouaches and putting them back in their place was quite tricky because they just wouldn't get out of their um, places and then opening those plastic foils was also a little bit messy, so yeah, I got my hands dirty, it's not a deal breaker, it's always like that when you work with paints. But yeah, just putting it out there, letting you guys know that just be prepared that it's probably gonna be a little bit messy. But nevertheless, let's just take the moment to appreciate how amazing and how satisfying once more these gouaches look. It's just stunning. So after we got our super satisfying moment, now we're gonna get into the actual demo of using those jelly gouaches. And first off, let me just tell you that I'm actually not gonna do uh, color swatches because I feel like with paints, it doesn't really matter that much because paints are supposed to be mixed. So you're gonna get the colors you want anyways, regardless if you do swatches or if you don't. And yeah, honestly, I just don't feel the need to do swatches. Whenever I'm testing new markers, the swatching part is essential for me, but with paints, um, I don't feel the need to do it. So I hope that you guys understand my point of view and that you really don't mind that. So for today's little demo, I've prepared a sketch of Barbie Ferreira, aka Cat from Euphoria. 
because I finally watched this series recently and I know that I'm probably the last person to actually watch the series and uh, it's been out for a while and I'm really embarrassed of myself that I haven't done it earlier but yeah let's just not talk about it okay but yeah I got very inspired by Euphoria and all those amazing makeup looks the characters it was overall quite a good series I would say so this definitely inspired me to draw Kat, to paint her today. And also, guys, let me just tell you that I'm a person that actually don't like painting. And I know that it sounds ridiculous because you are just watching me painting. Uh, but yeah, I don't know. Painting has always been uh, my one of my least favorite art things to do because it's always first of all so messy and uh, i honestly don't like the process of mixing paints because whenever i'm mixing up a color and uh, it turns out nice and i want to use it and i'm using it on my painting and then i end up running out of it and then i can't mix it up again to have the exact same color which never happens with alcohol based markers because you just have this one um color of the ink and you can use it repeatedly so this is not a problem while using alcohol based markers but this is a huge problem while using paints so that's something that always uh, kept me away from painting because i just don't like the whole process of it and also i'm not very good at um, actually painting itself i always thought that my paintings looked uh, they don't look like I want them to and I've always been kind of discouraged about my um, lack in painting skills so yeah I just never really painted out of my own unforced will but I don't know something about those gouaches really got me and really inspired me to actually give another chance to myself and to painting and uh, yeah just try it out again i felt really inspired i felt really good and i didn't feel forced and that's the most important thing for me recently because i've been trying a lot of different things a lot of new things i've been yeah trying trying out you know exploring and whenever i do it i i can't feel forced that's number one rule so yeah it felt good to actually uh, open up those squashes, start painting with them and I was honestly really really enjoying myself and really enjoying the whole process. So yeah, that was my little rant about painting but I felt like I needed to do a little introduction to my point of view on painting and uh, yeah, just tell you guys a little bit. Uh, but yeah, I know it's very off topic and we should be talking about the gouache itself and uh, the user experience, let's say. And honestly, here I have nothing bad to say about those gouaches. The consistency of them, the jelly consistency is very unique. I haven't seen anything like that. And I mean, I know that you can just squeeze a normal gouache out of the tube and you're gonna have pretty much the same thing. But I don't know, it just... It just speaks to me the sort of uh, form that it comes in it looks good it makes you want to paint and yeah i just like it i like it very much i dig it and I i'm really happy that i tried it out and speaking of the paint itself as i told you i'm not very familiar with painting as an art medium let's say so i'm not gonna really judge the quality of the paints and uh, the um, real experience let's say because I don't have that much of um, experience in that field but I can definitely tell that I had fun using those paints they didn't cause any trouble they were very intuitive to use and I think that that's the most important thing whenever you're testing a new art medium so yeah actually this was maybe the third time that I was trying out painting with gouache so honestly, I was a little bit hesitant and skeptical if it's gonna turn out good, but already in the middle of the process, when I saw my painting coming up together, I was like, wow, this is really turning out good. And I was so, so happy that um, I actually enjoy painting and it it's, it's going really well. So yeah, if you guys have the possibility to buy yourself those gouaches and try them out, I would definitely recommend them because I honestly had so much fun using those gouaches and uh, they really motivate me to paint more and to use them more often so 
yeah, let me know what do you guys think and um, have you ever tried painting with gouache and what's your favorite painting medium? Let me know and also, should I paint more? Are we drifting away from alcohol-based markers? I don't think so, but yeah, maybe I should switch it up from time to time. <laughs> let me know in the comments. Alright, and that will be it for my today's demo sort of review of the Artex Jelly Gouache and honestly you guys, I love this product, it's, it's so good. I wasn't expecting that since like I'm telling you, I'm not a painter and I'm really not sure if painting is ever gonna be my favorite um, art technique but yeah, I still really enjoyed uh, using those gouaches and I'm definitely gonna be giving them uh, some more tries, uh, maybe for YouTube videos, who knows. So yeah, if you guys want to try out some new art medium, something quite interesting, but also very good looking, I would definitely recommend these and um, yeah, try it out yourself, test them out and see whether you're gonna like it because I'm liking them a lot. <laughs> and um, yeah, and I really hope that you liked my today's little review and if you did, please don't forget to hit the like button and also subscribe to my channel to always be up to date with my new videos. Uh, and yeah, thank you guys so so much for watching, I love you all and I can't wait to see you very soon in the next video. Take care, bye! <laughs> Going with the gut, never had a doubt, felt like this is just a must Put me in perspective, I'm the deepest in the cut Everybody tuning in, but this is just for us now